What's up guys, Kevin Jones here, and today we're gonna to be talking about the One Wheel XR one year later. Let's check it out. Welcome back guys. So today I wanna to talk about the One Wheel XR one year later. So the question is, would I buy the One Wheel XR again? Absolutely, I would buy this hands down. This thing cost me about $2,000 with the kit, which came with some extra fenders, and it came with the, I'm sorry, came with the fender and extra bumpers. And you know, I've had it for a little bit over a year and it's just been great. I drive it all the time, uh, and I've only had one issue, and that was here with the power cord, where I had to send it to One Wheel and they replaced that for me, no problem. And I also had to replace the tire. So that tire cost me about $100 and it cost me about $60 to ship it to them. So overall, really, really happy with the one wheel. Uh, the amount of money that I spent, I've made back uh, saving on public transportation and gas and just time uh, and energy. Um, so overall, really, really happy with that. Um, there is a downside to safety on this. I have fallen a few times on it and I've always been wearing a helmet and three times I've actually fallen and almost hit my head or hit my head a little bit. It also hit my knee and hurt my knee a little bit. Uh, so there's a little bit of a safety factor, but I feel that if you're wearing proper safety equipment, you'll be fine on this. If you've been skateboarding or if you've been rollerblading, um, you'll be pretty familiar with that kind of uh, activity and injuries. So just be, be safe on it. Uh, definitely highly recommend you have to wear a helmet on it. Um, also, if you look at overall distance that you can go on this, it's great because if you live in a city, hands down, you're going to use this all over the city to get to places that you wouldn't normally walk. So I was able to get anywhere in San Francisco with this without a problem. If I had to, I can combine it with other forms of public transportation, uh, such as the bus or the Muni or the BART, or if I needed to, I could take a lift. Um, if my battery died, I could just take a lift home. Um, and I was able to save a lot of money on that by using this instead of doing public transportation. So in that regards, very, very cool. Um, overall, I would definitely highly recommend you guys look at getting the One Wheel XR or the One Wheel Pint. The One Wheel Pint is a little bit slower. It has a, a lower overall distance that it can travel because it has a smaller battery and it is a little bit more agile. Some people say it's a little funner to ride, uh, but I think it's just a different experience. This one is rather ha heavy. Uh, it sits at about 26 pounds, which can be a little bit of a pain if you're trying to carry it somewhere. Um, so always try to keep the battery up, uh, but there's situations where sometimes you need to carry it. Like if you know your friend doesn't have anything to ride or if the battery does die, you're gonna have to carry it. So be aware that 26 pounds is pretty heavy. Um, not to say you can't carry it, uh, but you do only carry it right here. There's no other way to carry it. They do make a handle that you can buy, like a third-party handle that can strap there as well. So hands down, really happy with the one wheel. Um, if I had to compare it to some of the other electric uh, skateboards, um, they all have their own kind of uniqueness. Um, this one has the one wheel, so it can go off-road, which I really love. I can take it to the beach. I can take it to the mountains. Uh, I can ride it on gravel. Um, it's just pretty versatile in that sense. And it's just fun to ride. It kind of feels like you're snowboarding or like you're surfing on land. So a lot of fun in that regards. So if I had it to do over, I would definitely buy this electric skateboard out of all the other ones. Um, I've tried some of the other uh, e-skateboards and this one is just a lot more fun for me. Um, and as long as you can deal with the amount of distance that you can go, and you're okay with the safety factor and the overall weight of this, it's a great choice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. If you guys agreed with this uh, and you have a one wheel or you disagreed, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you found this useful, let me know in the comments and I would love to catch you guys in the future videos. So stay tuned.